Hello everybody, this is Nancy with Stamping Bay. Today we're just going to do a recap of some of the cards that we made this week. The week of, uh, what is it, April 22nd through the 26th. We did a live on Tuesday the 23rd and a live on Friday the 26th. And we're just going to show you a quick clean version of these uh, cards. First, we're going to start off uh, showing you, this is the Sorry for Everything stamp set. We're going to be using this Sorry stamp right here. And we're going to be using for the loss of your furry friend. We're going to need uh, a, a general sized uh, card base, which is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And then we're going to need our cat punch. And for this heart right here, we used this die right here. And with that die, you get the two cutouts. It's kind of cool. So we'll set that heart aside. This is the particular heart that we're going to use today. And then I punched out an extra cat. This is from the designer series paper. It's called Twinkle Twinkle, I believe, in the annual catalog. So we'll put that aside as well. And then we'll need two pieces of Whisper White. Both of them are cut at four and it should be five and a quarter for both of them for layering. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to give our card base a quick fold and a burnishing with the bone folder. Okay, so we want to make sure that stays shut. Next thing we're going to do is stamp our saying first and we're going to stamp sorry in the night of navy ink and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stamp it off first just to get used to it because when we did our live version there was um, our ink pad was really inky and part of it didn't ink up correctly so today when we're doing this video I'm just going to stamp it off first just to make sure it's going to stamp evenly Okay, well, I guess maybe that's how the stamp works. So, here we go. We're going to stamp this, stamp this, excuse me, at the very bottom. Okay, good enough. For some reason, I always have an issue with my Y, but we're gonna let it be. Okay, so now we have the front of the card. All right, perfect. So we're just gonna adhere that with our snail adhesive or whatever favorite adhesive that you have. All right, next we're gonna punch out our cat on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our heart at a sideways angle, like so. And just kind of judge it where you might think you want your cat. Right, so we just want the silhouette on there okay so now we're gonna take this punch piece and we're just gonna set it aside for now because we're gonna use that for the inside all right so now we're gonna take some more tape okay another thing that I did on this is there's quite a few examples on Facebook um, of several different people that had done this and I'm sorry I don't remember their names or who they were but there's quite a few of them out there but what I did is I also cut out a tiny little heart right here from one of these uh, little hearts for this big long strip okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and pop that up on a mini dimensional and see if I can get that on there I might have to cut it down just a tad bit and voila okay so there's the front of your card. Now for the inside, we are going to stamp the next saying, which is for the loss of your furry friend. We're gonna do that again in the Night of Navy. All right, perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cat that we had punched up from the heart, and we're actually gonna glue it on the front right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to glue it over just a little bit so I can cut it and get a straight edge. And then we're gonna flip it over 
and then we're just going to cut off that extra bits that you see hanging over. So what we're going to do with this cat is we're going to do the same thing. Look at that, isn't that cute? Love it. Kayla came up with that idea, I thought it was so genius. All right, now I need my adhesive. Ta-da! Our first card is done. Isn't that cute? Absolutely love it. Now you can change the colors, obviously. You could do pink or green or brown or whatever color you like, but I still like the navy. All right, so we're gonna put that aside. All right, now we're ready for our second card. And on this one, we are using the brand new Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And this is in the new catalog that'll be coming out June 1st. Um, and we're going to be using this little hello and enjoy your, or enjoy today. We're gonna to be using those two stamps. Here's another quick and easy stamp set. Um, very excited to do this. We're gonna be using our scallop circles. We're gonna be using these two right here. And I don't number mine, so I have no idea what they are, but um, they're closer to the smaller ones. And we're going to be using this beautiful new paper. And it comes in a beautiful tin like this. This is also in the annual, the new annual catalog, very exciting. I'm excited to do some more projects with this card kit. It's beautiful vanilla paper and it's the, at the lace uh, front. It also comes with the scalloped edge envelopes to match. Okay, so we got that. We are also going to be using, here's our two circles, a smaller one for the very vanilla. And this is uh, the new paper, it's Rococo Rose. Um, that'll be available June 1st as well. And then we also have another piece uh, in the Rococo Rose as well. We're gonna be using our linen thread and the metallic pearls for accents. So let's get started. Again, very simple, very easy card. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this up a little bit. And I'm gonna take our Tombow glue and we're gonna put it a little bit of ink. A little bit of ink, if I can get it to come out, come on. All right, there we go. Just a little bit around the edges right here. Because what I did is I cut down our paper. I'll give you the measurements. Because we wanna line the inside of this with our Rococo Rose piece. So now, as you can see, this is going to be just a tad bit smaller than the front of the card, and voila. Give that a good press all the way around. Okay, again, very, very simple card, very pretty. I love the fact that it comes in a beautiful tin. And then you can put all your beautiful cards in there. You can make a whole bunch of these up and wrap it up, put a bow around the outside of that beautiful tin and give it as a gift. All right, so this is what the front looks like. Now for the stamping piece, we are also gonna be using our brand new ink. It's the Rococo Rose as well. And we're gonna stamp that hello on our very vanilla circle. Oh, perfect. All right, set that one there. And while I have the ink out, I'm just gonna grab this and do the inside real quick. Give a good press, and ta-da. Look at that. All right, next thing, make sure we shut our ink so we don't get our fingers all dirty. All right, so now you can kind of see this edge right here from where I use the die cutting machine. What I'm gonna do is I, I usually, when I have that, I usually take my bone folder and I just go around and kind of flatten it down a little bit. Since it is technically the back side of the paper, I did stamp on the front, but I didn't like how it turned out, so. All right. Now we're gonna take our adhesive. Put a little bit of tape. Put it on the front here. 
Press that down. And then of course we gotta add some dimensionals. We are ready to put our linen on here. For me, longer is better because you can always clip it. Last time I didn't do that very well. All right. All right, let's get this going. So now what we need is our glue dots. on there. All right, so now we're going to take some of our gold metallic pearls and we're just going to put a few of them on the front. And voila! Look at that, ain't that cute? Super simple, easy, and it's very elegant. Love this paper as well. All right, we'll get started on the next one here. Okie dokie. So this next card, we're going to be using the Come Sail Away Memories and More card packet. This is a pretty awesome uh, packet. A lot of people use this for, it was made for doing Memories and More. Um, and that's where the memories for scrapbooking and more would be for scrapbook, uh, excuse me, for cards or whatever you want to do with it. Um, I believe this might have been part of it. Some of these pieces might have been from it. And um, anyway, we're going to make a quick, easy, simple card. It comes with the full size, which are six by four, and um, they are double sided. And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of them, and this is the back side, and we're going to make a card out of it. There, it also comes with stickers, and then it also comes with the shorter uh, stack of, let me try and get a couple of them out, the shorter little versions of the bigger ones okay and they're both double-sided as well and this is where the scrapbooking comes into play you could also put this on the inside of your card as well and then just write a nice little saying um, on the inside if you want so I got this one cut down just a little bit so that it'll fit right on the front of the card okay so I had to cut just a little bit of the image off on here just to make it, it it fit all right so that was the easy part okay we're just gonna give this a fold so now this one is actually gonna go open up sideways okay pretty simple find my tape another thing you might want to do is make sure that when you do do your cards that you're giving it a good uh, burnish so that that tape is sticking really good to your card okay so now what I was thinking is you could put this on the inside which actually wouldn't be too bad I think I might do that what I was thinking of is using just a plain piece of cardstock on the front and then using some of these um, uh, stickers and that's what I did on the on the uh, card that we did on Friday However, I really like this idea of putting this in here. So we are going to do that. So now we have this on the front. It says, let's go somewhere and do something. And we could put... Let's put, here's to making every moment. And then this is where you might write your little note, put your signature on the inside. This on the front, I think I really want to put a sailboat on the front. Okay, so ta-da, look at that. How quick, how easy was that to make a card? So just a quick recap of the cards that we made. This was one. And this was one and here was the other I hope you like these um, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think of these cards thanks for joining us